Hello, my name is Glory Anderson and I'm from Southern Stitches and some of you might know me as so-and-so. I'm going to teach you how to picture smock. We're going to use this easy to stack sail pattern from the children's corner. So let's get started. Before we begin, let's talk a little bit about supplies. For picture smocking, um, I use DMC embroidery floss and I use a number seven cruel needle. We're going to begin by separating our floss. You're going to cut about an 18 inch piece of embroidery floss off and then you're going to separate it into, you need four strands for picture smocking. So what I do is I separate it into four strands and two strands and I put my index finger in, the, in between them and I just slide my index finger and, and pull that floss to separate all the way to the bottom. Once I get it separated, I save that two strand piece because I can use that later um, to combine it with another two strand piece that's uh, left over. Now, some people iron their floss and usually I just don't like to take the time to do that. Um, so I take the floss and I put it between my index finger and my thumbnail and I hang on to it and I just run that all the way the full length of it and finger press. And when I get to the bottom, I take it and I go back and I do the same thing and just get that nicely finger pressed. If you want, you can iron your floss. I just don't like to take the time to do it. Our next step is to knot our thread. Okay, before we begin, we're going to talk a little bit about our smocking pattern here. Um, we're, since we're, I'm just teaching you picture smocking, we're not going to do the full uh, design. Um, on this design, it calls for rows 1 and 10 to have a cable stitch, row 8 and 9 to work a three-step wave down, and um, we're just going to pretend that we already have that done. And we're going to begin with the small sailboat that's on the right-hand side. Now on a picture smocking um, graph, you're going to see, like on this particular graph, there's two graphs. And one shows your cables all within your pleated fabric. And this diagram up here has, um, it tells you how many cable stitches and which way you're supposed to go. Which this, this type of pattern helps when you're a beginning uh, picture smocker. So, um, our first row is going to actually, we're not going to start with the bottom of the boat. This pattern calls for beginning with the sail, and it's going to be 15 cable stitches across that row. So that's where we're going to begin. Okay, to begin your first row of cable stitches, um, I, I begin probably a little bit different than other people do. Um, I'm in the Saga program, the Artesian program for smocking, and I took several correspondence courses with Evelyn Phillips, and she kind of taught me this technique, and I've kind of um, adopted it as my own technique because I was really pleased with the results of it. Um, I bring my needle up straight in the valley of where I want to begin my cabling, and the reason for doing this is that your knot on the back is going to be on the top of a pleat. It's not going to be pulled down into a valley on the back. And when knots get pulled down into the valleys, um, your top side, you're going to start seeing those threads shadow through or the knot might look lumpy. And if you bring your, your needle up and your knot sits on top of the pleat in the back, you're not going to have that problem. So once you bring it through, up through the valley, you're going to go straight across horizontally and you're going to pick up just one pleat. You're going to go straight through horizontally to the left, pull that thread through, and now it hides what came through that valley. And now we're going to start working our cable row. We're going to begin with a, a down cable, which means that your needle is up. The thread is down the needles up. It's going to be completely horizontal across 
and you're just going to pull that straight across. And now we're going to do an up cable. The thread is up and your needle is down. And we're just going to continue in this manner straight across following that guide um, pleating thread as you're to keep yourself straight. And we're going to work across our pleats and we're going to do 15 cables. And as you work along, you can use your needle to uh, straighten up all your cables, just like that. Okay, we've reached our 15th stitch. Now watch carefully as I show you how we're going to end this row. We're going to bring the needle through that very last pleat. And we're going to bring it up kind of like through an angle and we're going to go through two pleats. And it's going to come up in the valley of the cable that is your last up cable that you did. I hope you can see this real well. You're going to bring it up kind of at an angle and you're going to pull it all the way through. Now, as we work up our sail, we, in order to do our next row, we have to invert our fabric. And it also helps if you invert your pattern and just follow your pattern exactly the way that you're, um, when you turn your smocking upside down, turn your pattern upside down and turn them back as you work your rows. Okay, we're ready to do our next row and this is where we're going to be stacking. And our, knee, our thread now has come up, it's in the middle of a valley. We are, our next row is going to be is going to start with an up cable. So we're going to bring our needle straight through that next, the pleat that is to the left. And you don't want to bring the needle real tight to your um, previous row of cable stitches. Your floss is thick enough that it's going to fill in that space. So you're going to pull it through just like that. And now we're ready to do our 13 cables for our next row. All picture smocking really is, is just a series of cable um, rows stacked upon cable rows. And so now we're just ready to um, go along here and do 15, 13, I'm sorry, it's 13 cable stitches this time. And try to keep your, your needle nice and horizontal as you do your row. And don't go down too tight because you want your um, smocking to be nicely spaced. So we're just going to continue working across here and doing our next row. We're stacking cables.